Hi, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do the deficit deadlift. Now, this is a, a variation to a deadlift that you can do um, to improve the bottom position and even also the lockout position. Some, this exercise can f favor some other people based on how long their legs and how long their torso is. Obviously, I don't want you to feel that anybody's good or bad just to, for having a longer leg or longer torso. It's just on how you're able to meet the bar and then really fully lock out. Now, if you have longer legs, this is gonna make it really hard. And if you have it um, uh, shorter torso, the, that means that the, lo the lockout will be a little bit quicker and a lot more easier. So the, all we're gonna simply do is you're going to be doing a normal deadlift and all that you'll be doing is creating a, a, an extra height for yourself, which then when you meet the bar on a normal deadlift, you'll find that it, you have to fight getting your chest up even harder. And in this position, it makes then the leg drive even tougher. So just believe that when you do this, you may not be able to do the same amount of uh, weight that you normally do or typically do on a de deadlift, a not conventional deadlift, because you've got that extra um, resistance and difficulty. So technique stays the same. The only difference here is now we always stay tight and the chest is up nice and proud. I would, I would look to, uh, because of technique, uh, get your head up and your chest up as much as you can. So you really are fighting the bar. Take the, take the knuckle or the knockout the, or the slack out of the bar and then driving up nice and straight to fully lock out. So that's how you do the deficit deadlift. Remember, if you want the full explanation on how to do the deadlift, please be sure to go to the deadlift uh, tutorial. If you have any other questions, please feel free to drop me a DM at any time.